we're down here on Moor River today. Um, we're going to do a video with Ellie and also some cheap bait. So basically sweet corn and bread, things that you can have around your house. Instead of throwing them out, you can keep them, use them. Or basically they're 99 cents a tin. They don't go off. They can sit in the boot of your car. With Ellie's $12 rod, you can go fishing for under 20 bucks and pretty much catch a buttload of fish all day. Well, that's what we're hoping, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah? We're going to catch some fishies? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, blah, blah, blah. All right. Well, we're going to get set up and let's see how we go. So, stay tuned. Get yeah. What I've done is I've introduced a little bit of corn and bread to get them feeding with Ellie, as you saw before. Ellie helped me. And uh, we're now going to try and actually start fishing properly. Uh, what I've got here is an English style float. Uh, the normal ones do work, but I just find these ones are a lot less buoyant and they're a lot more sensitive to the bites because they can be a bit tricky. Sometimes there'll be massive bites that just scream away and sometimes they'll just be small little nibbles. Uh, on the hook side of things, I've got an English style barbless hook. Uh, this is probably a size 12 or 10 English, but uh, they are very hard to get over here, I must admit. Uh, but if you uh, send me a message, I might be able to help you out with getting some of those. But we're going to start with good old bread. This is literally leftovers. So that would have gone in the bin, but we're taking it out today and going to make it turn into some fish. Our boat's about to turn up, which is just my luck. As I've got a camera over there in the shallows, the waves are probably going to splash up, but oh well. See what happens. See how we go. Let's cast over there. Hey. Oh, here we go. Straight in. First cast. He's in, bro. Fast cast. And it's a decent fish, bro. I'm liking this. Ellie, do you want to help me net it? It's a good fish, this one. Get that net. You ready? Here he comes. You gonna get down there? No, you're down there. Remember where I said? I'm gonna let you. Hey, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Bring him over here for me, yeah. Well done, Ellie. Nice brimmy, isn't he? Oh, look at that. Nice brim. And he actually took that on the drop. So the bread was still sinking down from the surface and he smashed it. I wasn't even ready for that. I was looking at the boat. Look at that, Ellie Bum, do you want to put him back? Yeah? Hand, both hands out. That's it, go on in, you put him back for me. Down to the water's edge. That's it. Go on then, give him a throw in. Yay, there he goes. Off to fight another day. But I'm going to introduce a bit more bread. I've found they go off the bite once you hook one a little bit. If you don't throw much freebies in, they get a bit wise to it straight away. So you throw in freebies like this. All I'm doing is grabbing some bread and just squidging it into a ball so it sinks. And then lobbing it out towards the float like that. Simple as. As that's sinking, they'll come up and they'll grab them. What I've been doing as well is grabbing a few bits of crust and not squidging them up and leaving them on the surface because sometimes the bigger brim will come up and smash it. It looks awesome. Throw some of those out. Let the wind carry those over. Uh, throw a bit more out towards those reeds and we'll recast on top of that. So basically we're just same bit of bread this time it's just going to be sinking down on top of all the other bread we've just thrown in. There we go. Yeah, we're in. I was just about to put the uh, the rod down on the holder, but it went. Nice little fight on light gear. No need for anything heavy. You can see everything I've got is so light. Go on, Ellie Bum, you got him? Good girl, well done. Oh, he got out. He's a feisty one. You got him? Lift it up. Yeah, well done. High five. I'm backing him. You got him? High five? 
Well done, that's some awesome netting. Right, I think it's time you had a go, yeah? yeah? So we'll get you to sit in my chair and we'll get you to catch a fish, yeah? Okay, this is Ellie's Jarvis Walker Guppy Rod. I think it costs $12. An absolute bargain for what it is. It's perfect for the kids. It actually comes with a small little rubber lure so they can practice casting. Um, but Ellie really, really likes to use this one. It's perfect size. She's only two. She's almost three, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Right. Squidging the bread on there. Nice and tight on the eye, but a little bit fluffy towards the end there. And that'll actually fluff up and soak up when it starts to sink. Okay, I'm just going to flip this in for you and I'm going to give you the rod, yeah? Yeah. Good girl. All right, flick and stop. And click that over, and there you go, Ellie Bum. That's yours. You got it, yeah? Yeah, one hand on there and one hand on the reel. Okay, and just wait for it to take it, yeah? Should we put it on here? Do you want to put it on here? Yeah. yeah? We'll put it on there then, yeah? And then we can watch the tip here. You see the tip? We'll wait for that. And it should knock when the fishies grab it, yeah? Yeah, and bite him. Yeah, and he can fight him, yeah? You like fighting him, don't you? Yeah. Like that big carpy you caught. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, you got a bite, Ellie? Let's go in. Remember that? That way, and then wind. That's it. Gonna stand up. Yeah, go. keep it. winding it in. It's a big one. Well done. That's Ellie. She's not even three yet on the uh, guppy rod. Absolutely killing it at the moment. Wheel, wheel, wheel. Wind, 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 wind. That's it. That's better. Wind, wind, wind. Right up in the air. He's. That's it. He's coming. He is, yeah. Coming. Well done, Ellie Bum. High five. Yeah, Ellie's fish. Look at that. Lovely brim. Obviously nothing massive, but it keeps the kids interested and they're fun to catch on this light gear like that. I mean, 12 bucks. Absolutely perfect. All right, do you want to put him back for me, Els? So right, I can put him back if you want. Would you want to do it? I you want to do it? Yeah. All right, you want to come down here for me? Wow. There he goes. Right. Let's try again. It's got a slice of bread in the old waders. Go out. I'm only going out just above sort of knee height, maybe crutch height. Yeah. Oh, look, it's still out on the surface there. Something about surface fishing, I've always loved it, no matter where I go. Something visual is cool. Oh, the duck's going to ruin the party. Oi, there you go. Free food over there, mate. Free food over here. One thing you've got to be careful surface fishing with bread is the ducks because they like it just as much as the fish do. All right. Oh. Yes! Woohoo! Yeah, we got him. Lovely. Ah. Get him in that shadow there. Yeah, look at that. You can see the silver flank. He's not a bad fish, this. He's fighting all right. Look at that. Lovely big black line on his tail. That is a beauty. That, where's the net? Yeah, good help. <sighs> wow, there we go. Oh, lovely. That's a bit better. Again, lovely. Hook up right in the corner. Barbless hook again, so bang straight out. Look at that. No harm to him. Lovely fish. So it's probably about 25, something like that, maybe just about legal. I would normally measure him, but I'll just put him back for today. Lovely. Ellie, can I get a picture of you? Yeah. Yeah, Ellie. Yay. All right. Let's have a look. Awesome. Back to fight another day.